tonight, President Biden will touch down in Belfast in just 20 minutes' time. But he comes against a backdrop of recent sectarian violence and no government instalment. We'll be asking, can he make a difference? Also tonight, Calmac's biggest and youngest ferry breaks down, cancelling sailings between Stornoway and the mainland. And later, is the party over for Tupperware? Welcome to the nine down in Belfast to mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. It's his first visit to the UK since he was elected in 2020 and he'll be met by the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. The Good Friday Agreement brought an end to decades of sectarian violence known as the Troubles and the beginning of a hard fought for peace. But that peace is fragile. Only yesterday, petrol bombs were thrown at police during an illegal Republican parade, many by young children. And today, police discovered four suspected pipe bombs inside the city cemetery in Londonderry. Politically, Northern Ireland has had no government since February last year after the DUP's First Minister resigned over Brexit checks in the Irish Sea. Rishi Sunak's new Brexit deal has so far failed to bring the DUP together with Sinn Féin to form a power-sharing agreement. So will President Biden's visit make a difference? Well, we'll get into that in a minute. But first, here's the BBC's Ireland correspondent, Emma Vardy. Ten years of working with the party. Well, now the First Minister, Hamza Youssef, has said the company stepped away more than six months ago. He also said the former SNP chief has confirmed that detectives have begun an investigation into threats sent to a referee and his wife after Saturday's old firm match. The Scottish Football Association says Kevin Clancy was targeted after his contact details were published online following the clash. A little earlier, our sports news correspondent, Chris McLaughlin, gave us an update on... ...and could be in doubt... The US maker of food storage containers is struggling to raise new finance and as a result, shares plunged yesterday. Well, in recent years, Tupperware has been attempting to reposition itself to a younger audience. However, it's failed to stop a slide in its sales. Well, it does if you have a story to share or just something to say. Our email address should be right there on the screen. So is our handle for Twitter and Instagram too. You've got good advice about cleaning your tubs, haven't you? <laughs> After you've had yes, spaghetti yes, bolognese in yes, it. Yes, I do, Laura. You should um, put in your washing up liquid of choice, some hot water, give it a good shake. And that gets rid of the steams. Brand new, basically there brand you new. Go. You heard it here. <laughs> now, elsewhere tonight, the beauty industry is booming post-pandemic. Well, we're joined now by food and drink writer Josh Barry. Hello, Josh. Thank you very much for joining us tonight on The Nine. Tell us, Hello. where has it all gone wrong for Tupperware? I think that it's... Traditionally, wasn't it a way for women to make money? They, they would sell it to their friends. They'd have Tupperware parties. Those of us that grew up in the 80s will remember that really well. Has that business model changed over time? I don't remember. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so, Josh, do you think just our cooking habits have changed in general? More people go to eat out or more people order in takeaway and they might hang on to those containers that they get with their, their Saturday night takeout? You had a bit of a health scare, though, didn't you, that nearly put um, an end to this adventure of yours? Great. So your journey has been able to continue. And you've also spoken about how this time has helped you with your mental health as well. Uh, very much so, yeah. Nick, do you think other people um, can learn from taking life at a bit of a slower pace then? Um, I mean, obviously, it's, you know, I'm, I'm doing it on a grand scale, but... Um... And Nick, just lastly, do you think... If somebody was considering doing something like what what you're doing at the moment, but they're a bit scared to, do you have any advice for them? That looks great, doesn't yeah. it? Could do with one of those for the 